let's jump right into our first main topic today. And our first main topic today gets submitted to us by Steve Calderon, who writes, What are your thoughts on Seth MacFarlane ending his long-term relationship with 20th Century Fox Television and moving his company, Fuzzy Door, to NBC Universal after signing a five-year, $200 million deal with the studio? What does this mean for his current Fox-produced shows, Family Guys, American Dad, and The Orville? All right, thanks a lot for sending that in, man. And yeah, this one caught a lot of us by surprise. We were going to talk about this on the show yesterday, but we ran out of time. Caught a lot of us by surprise. Seth MacFarlane, of course, most known for being the family guy. He's also done American Dad. He's got the Orville going right now. He has left his very, very long-term relationship with Fox and is now going to be developing shows for NBC Universal. What does this mean for his existing shows at Fox? Do they suddenly disappear? Well, no, they don't. This comes to us from The Hollywood Reporter. In addition to continuing his work, on current shows like Family Guy. So the existing shows they have, those still belong to Fox, and he's going to continue to work on those shows. So in addition to continuing his work on the current shows like Family Guy, McFarlane is said to be excited to create new projects for across the NBC Universe fold, including for basic cabler sci-fi. Sources say he's interested in starring in and producing musicals, political dramas, and anthologies around historical events in addition to working on new animated projects. The pact also keeps McFarlane a free agent when it comes to film work, meaning he's able to write, act, produce, and direct for any studio as feature films remain a top priority for him. So he is still clearly going to be doing his shows that are over on Fox until Fox pulls the plug of those. So those of you who are worried that this means the end of Orville, the Orville is going to still going on. Rob, there's a couple of really interesting things about this. Number one, obviously, ending the relationship with Fox, so he's not going to be producing new things for them on the television side. But look at how busy he's going to be. He wants to do things for the basic cable, for Peacock, for feature films, and for sci-fi. He wants to do musicals. He wants to do political dramas, anthologies. He wants to produce and star in, and he still wants to make feature films. There is a part of me here that is just like, you can't possibly be serious. Like, you can't possibly, be, you can't do all this kind of stuff. But so two-part question, Rob, what do you think about the move for Seth? And do you think he can actually do all the things that he actually wants to do? Well, first of all, I think that Seth MacFarlane, obviously what he's done over at Fox, especially Family Guy, 20 years, there's a machine in place that makes all of these things that I think works. He can, he can consult with it, obviously. But I think what's really interesting here is that I think Seth MacFarlane has certainly done well over the last 20 years positioning himself as one of the most vibrant and successful creators uh, of of content around. Now, what he's doing, I think, is very smart. He's looking into the future uh, in terms of the Peacock is an emer- emergent network. Uh, NBC has a huge interest in making it all work. NBC Universal, you've got a network and the, a movie studio behind it. I think he wants to get with a getting's good, and he's going to get in there. They're going to make him a top priority. He's going to have carte blanche to do what he wants as a creator, and I think it's a really, really smart move. He's had a 20-year run over at Fox, and it's a great run. It's made him a very, very wealthy man, and I think once you're there, it's always – it's always good to have a change and go someplace where you are really wanted, where where people are going to let you spread spread out and, and sort of stretch your wings. And I think we're going to get some really – remember, Seth MacFarlane did things like Cosmos. Yeah. So if he, if he goes into the political arena, if he goes into doing anthology shows, I would love to see – love to see a Seth MacFarlane musical. I really would. And I, I think I've, you know, I've, I've met him. We, we worked to, uh, together, albeit a little brie- uh, briefly. And um, I, I love that guy. <laughs> so He's more power good. to him. I can't wait to see. Uh, I can't wait to see what he does. And I think we're going to see more talented people who have built up their brands, allying themselves with these larger services because this streaming positioning yourself now getting in early on what what is going to be probably a long and brutal streaming war is a very smart move 
one of the interesting things, one of the things I think is the most interesting thing here is that little thing at the end that says he is still going to have a wide open option to work with whoever he wants to work with on movies. That was clearly an important thing to him, which kind of mm-hmm. signals to me that he's still very dedicated to wanting to do feature film. Seth MacFarlane, of course, has had a little bit of a mixed bag when it comes to feature film. His Ted movie is amazing. Ted the first two, one is great. Yeah, it's great. Ted 2, I enjoyed, but I thought it was a step down from Ted, from t- from the first Ted. Then he did A Million Ways to Die in the West, which honestly is not good, but it certainly has some great moments. There are some, some absolutely great moments. And listen, I know I'm I'm not in the, the popular opinion here, but I actually really liked when he hosted the Oscars. I thought he actually did a pretty good job hosting the Oscars. So that's just me, but I know a lot of people didn't like them there. So it's going to be interesting for me to see How much of his time does he actually dedicate to the television side and how much time will he actually practically have to try to do feature films later on? If he worked it into his contract that he's got to remain a free agent to do feature films, that clearly means he's got some priority to it. But will he actually have the time? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Question is, guys, what do you think about all this? Are you shocked to find out he's leaving Fox? Are you excited for what he's doing? Do you think, how can you possibly continue those three shows on Fox and do like four more shows on NBC and do movies? I don't know. How are you feeling about it? Jump on down to the comment section below and let me know your thoughts. All right.